This is the most fun you can have this stuff. It's permission to never grow up and that's why I love macro photography. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Garrett Bradford, Olympus Macro Ambassador. Now, this is a fantastic time of year for fungus photography. So that's what we're gonna go do. There's something about being in the woods that just captures the imagination, isn't it? Look at these! These appear to be velvet bolitas. Oh. oh! Now, I have to include the log. So I'm going to go into the ferns a little bit and shoot from slightly further away and include these ferns and the edge of that uh, tree stump. Now, I'll have to just have a little play about and see whether... Oh, the light is just coming out as well, so I'm going to... Give it a few more seconds and wait for that light to just come up. I'm tempted to shoot a stack. Yeah. I'm going to shoot a 15 frame focus stack where I'm going to group a lot of the pictures together. So that way I can maintain a nice shallow depth of field but I get a lot more coverage on the actual subjects themselves. There we go. Now the handy thing with having focus stacking in camera is that I find out in the field whether it's worked or not rather than just waiting to get home and then realizing nope didn't work but on this occasion it's worked an absolute treat I mean, you just wouldn't see that without the macro lens. And I think macro lenses are a ticket into this small world. And if you get this little thing, it opens up this fantastic place, just to while away the hours. Well, looky here, it's a mushroom on, well, not quite a log, but it'll, it'll do. But as you'll see, it's actually above the floor. So that means we can get some lovely background separation there. I'm gonna use manual focus and angle the camera so that the mushroom is against the sky there and work with these beautiful specular highlights. It's really nice because we've got complementary colors here. So when you're out and about, if you can find colors that work really well against each other, like in this case, we've got a wonderful orange mushroom against that beautiful green foliage there. And it really does just help it sing. God, it's like a game of operation. There we go. Oh, so there's a tiny mushroom here with a fly upon it. I mean, I was literally just saying about how amazing nature was and then the fly showed up. There, look at these! Wow! Oh, the light is coming from behind them too. So this is a fantastic opportunity to use some creative backlighting. So I'm going to switch off my focus stacking. I'm going to shoot a single frame this time. I'm in aperture priority mode, by the way because that way I can 
set my depth of field so I know what the pitch is pretty much gonna look like. And I can use the exposure compensator on the front to adjust the exposure in real time. So with this camera system, there's no guesswork. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. I certainly love my time out here in the woods. Now, if you do venture out, please share your pictures with us. We absolutely love to see them. I've been Geraint. Now, this light is looking rather special, so I'm gonna go carry on exploring. I'll see you soon.